Hello and welcome back to my channel. If not back, then just welcome. If it's your first time here, I would love it if you would click on the subscribe button and join me on my YouTube journey. So today I want to do a very glamorous fall look using stereotypical warm tone and a deep berry lip. Because as much as I want to come on here and be like, I'm an original individual, look at me put these polka dots on my face. Sometimes you just got to fall back on the oldies but goodies. The products of today are going to be, again, a two Huda Beauty palettes. This time I'm going to be using the Warm Brown palette as well as the Topaz palette. So I just want to show you these two palettes real quick. So this one is the Warm Brown palette and this one is the Topaz palette. You don't need both. Determining which one you want, which one you would prefer is more going to be about do you prefer shimmer shades or do you prefer mattes. This one has eight mattes and one shimmer. This one has four mattes and four shimmers. The brows in here have a lot of red undertone to them. And the brows in here are a bit more orange. Also, unless you are very fair, these shades are going to look pretty much the same on your skin tone. The mattes are going to blend out to look approximately the same on your skin. So I feel like whereas the other gemstone obsession palettes are good companion pieces, the Topaz palette feels really redundant, especially if you already have the Coral Obsessions palette. All right, let's get into this makeup. I'm going to be prepping my eyes with the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer as well as the NARS Premium Radiant Concealer. So I'm going in with the Warm Brown Obsessions palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade down here to just um, set my concealer all over my eye. I didn't even put my concealer on. Just kidding. JK, LOL. Back to actually setting my eye. I want this to be a soft glam look. And so by putting down a base shade, it's going to diffuse any other shade that I put on top of it. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here from the Warm Brown Obsessions palette. Just putting that on my creasy, crease, crease, creasy, crease, crease. I don't know if I want to do a halo eye. I've been like going nuts with the halo eyes lately. So I think I just want to do this as like a traditional smoky eye. I definitely want to do a nice golden tone smoke on this bad boy. I'm not taking this color all the way to the inside. I'm kind of fading it out in a gradient. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this brown shade from the Warm Topaz palette just because it's a bit more neutral than the Warm Brown palette. I'm going to put it on a blending pencil brush and put that below the transition color that I have to build up depth. And I'm making sure not to have too much product on my brush as I bring it in closer to my eye. Yesterday, I followed a Samantha Ravindahl tutorial. Like, I sat down with my laptop and my makeup brushes and my palettes and, like, recreated the exact look that she did. And it made me really nostalgic for when I first fell in love with makeup and I first started doing it because that's how I learned how to do makeup in the first place sitting down in 2009 with a vintage or tacky video and just like recreating the same like whatever kind of like bold ass look that she did and it just kind of reminded me that no matter what your craft is no matter what it is that you do where you express yourself artistically you can always build your skill set and you can always be learning from people that you admire. I'm saying all this to say that following along with that eyeshadow tutorial and doing the technique as she was doing it really made a difference in how my makeup turned out. I'm super serious about freelancing and I really want to start doing makeup on other people. I don't know, I'm rambling. Um, I'm going back into the warm brown palette and this shade right here and I'm going to put that above this color here. If I weren't trying to be so glam, I don't think I would have even put this shade on. But I'm here for the glamour today, honey, okay? Going in with a brow bone highlight. Because, like, why not put eyeshadow all the way up to my eyebrows? I'm going to take this shade here. Okay, now for my lid color, I'm going to take two metallic shades. First, I'm taking this gold shade from the Warm Brown palette. Putting it on my eyeball with the brush because my nails are too long. And I'm just putting that on this part. What is that? The outer third part portion of my eye. Mm, yes, yes. Now I'm going in with the Topaz palette in this shade right here. 
So the finish of the um, metallics in here are a little different. This shade here and this shade here are more like traditional metallic shades, but then this shade here and that shade there are more like glitter toppers. So this one is just gonna blend in nicely with that first gold that I've already put down. And it's just a brighter gold color, but still yellow based. And I'm just blending that into it, blending it into it. I can't stop singing and I don't know why. Sorry about it. Dang, look at how glamorous this is, wow. So that's it for the upper portion of the eye. I'm gonna put on my concealer off camera so I can work on the lower lash line. I just dropped my palette on the ground. Thank goodness we carved. Okay, under eye concealer is on. Now I'm going into the lower lash line and I don't want it to be too orangey underneath there. So I'm just gonna concentrate on like this shade that I used here. I'm bringing that underneath. I'm just gonna make sure that I connect that underneath here. And I'm taking this, 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 the blush I'm taking the shimmer shade from the Topaz palette and putting that along the waterline, like closer to it, but not exact, not exactly in my waterline. And I'm taking that into the inner corner farther to really bring the light in there. All right, now I'm going to go in with some mascara to finish it up. Touch in the lower lashes to uh, remind them that they exist. Zoomed out. Now going into the face. My face routine is going to be a little bit different today. I'm going to show how I do a more glamorous, I keep saying glamorous, but like that's the mood that I'm in right now. So I'm going to show how I do a more glamorous look with as few products as possible. So I'm going to be using my two concealers. I've already gone and done my under eye and I brought my bright color in a little bit lower than I normally would. I'm taking the walnut color from, what is this, NARS, the Creamy Radiant Concealer, and I'm putting that on my chin. And I'm really sharing it out with the doe foot before I blend it out. I'm taking a larger brush. So. I bought a new face massage tool. It's a stone for gua sha mas massage. And I accidentally bruised underneath my cheekbone. So I'm going to put some concealer over that as well. And I'm going to stipple more than I'm going to blend it because I don't want to lose the coverage because I'm trying to cover up a bruise. That concealer does a really good job of hiding it. I still have some natural like hyperpigmentation underneath my cheekbone. You can see it over here where I didn't conceal at all but the redness of the bruise is covered now I'm gonna highlight my face a little bit more with the caramel shade and that's gonna just highlight the center of my face since I did so much concealer work I'm gonna be very mindful of where I put the foundation today so I'm just taking a little bit of it and putting it on my fingernails on my fingertips not my fingernails Glamour means contour, so I'm going to contour, lol, I covered the brown and now I'm adding more brown. But just like super subtle. I'm running out of time, I should leave my house in 23 minutes, can I finish this video? Hey folks, guess what? I shaped my eyebrows, can you tell? No? Okay. For blush, I'm gonna do that weird thing that I did in the last one and mix some of my uh, foundation with a cloud paint. This cloud paint is like orange though. And this foundation has a very strong yellow undertone. So I'm concerned, not concerned, I'm curious to see what kind of funky color it's gonna make. This is Dawn from Glossier. This is the shade that I came up with. It's like a really muted burnt orange color. So this is very orange, very, very orange. I'm just gonna take a beauty sponge and hopefully soak some of that up. Okay, I'm gonna highlight underneath my eye again. Oh, now it's too much orange. Okay, so I had to bring some light back to my face with that um, concealer because it just went way, 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 way too orange. 
but I salvaged it, right? Like that orange is enough orange. It's cute orange. Okay, so now for my highlight, I'm taking the Glossier Cloud. No, I'm not. What is this? This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Wisp. Oh, that's pretty. That's so nice. I'm also going to highlight my inner corner a little bit. Stop singing. Now for the like super vampy fall part. <laughs> I'm taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen, which is the only lipstick that I wore for like two years. And I'm going to put that on my lip. Ooh. Oh. All right. I'm going to blot and then reapply. Probably the sloppiest lipstick jog I have ever done in my life. And also I said jog instead of job. So this is it. I'm like festive, right? I'm festive. Ooh. This is me being also very glamorous and fall-like. And my earbud just fell out of my ear. If you were curious, I was listening to The Read and then Unspooled, two of my favorite podcasts. I will have the links for them down in the description box. But anyways, here's my face. As always, if you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so, 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 so very much for watching. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Till next time, bye folks.